Am I the asshole? For refusing to allow my family's property will to me be used for my cousin's second wedding? I am the owner of a property that was formerly my grandpa's home. My grandpa was a farmer and he had this awesome property built whenever my mom and her sisters were in high school. This was the family house, which my grandpa also built a giant garage on which my cousins have been using as a reception hall the last few years for their weddings. When my grandma died my grandpa and me started hanging more and I worked at the property since I was little. I am the only grandson he had. All my cousins on my mom's side are girls. In 2018 my grandpa passed away and I was left the property. This caused a bunch of drama amongst the family. But I know exactly why my grandpa did it. My grandpa was not a perfect person. He was very old-fashioned. Hated divorce and was very traditional. His beliefs clashed with his daughters. He wanted to hand his farm down to his son. He didn't have any and none of my aunts married the type of dudes he liked. So I became the de facto option. My grandpa especially disliked how my aunts were in their relationships cause he preached commitment. That man loved and was loyal to my grandma. My cousin is getting married this fall. I'm at my parents' house and my aunt goes well the reception will be at the house. I told her nobody has talked to me yet. She said that since every other cousin had their reception there it should be a tradition. I said sure but they all asked me and I wanted them there. Her daughter didn't ask me and I don't support the wedding. It's really legit reason. This is my cousin's second wedding. I'm not even close with her. We differ politically so I have her muted on social media. I didn't even know she was engaged. Me and this cousin hardly speak. Also this is her second marriage. She cheated on her first husband with this dude. Who was also married at the time. My grandpa would never approve of that or want that on his property. Also I would have to be involved in the setup and clean up if it's at the house. I don't care to sacrifice my time. If she wants to rent the property and my time. Then she can pay me a premium for the short notice. But I'm not doing it for free. I explained this all to my aunt and my cousin. They both threw a fit and tried having my mom talk to me. She tried pulling the family card and a guilt trip about my cousin having no money. I said my cousin has no money because of her divorce. It's a sham wedding and her dad wouldn't support it and she knows that. There was a reason that her dad didn't trust the property to his own kids. I said all my other cousins have been good people so I was willing to help. But this cousin and aunt are rude. My mom said I won't be invited to Christmas most likely then. I said okay find another venue while you are at it the house is the hangout spot for Christmas. My dad is calling me in awe but I need to a fair judgment. Am I the asshole? Am Info did your grandfather disown your mom and aunts or was it just the property left to you? ESH. They should have asked first rather than assume. You have every right to refuse, but your reasons kind of suck. I'm confused. How did your mom and I assume your aunts since they tried to have her guilt trip you think you would be okay with not being invited to Christmas, but be okay with it still being held there? ESH. You sound totally judgmental. You're entitled to be if you want, but it still sucks. Your cousin sucks for just assuming she'd be able to use your property without asking you. Also, misogynistic grandpa obviously sucks too. ESH you suck for using your grandpa's sexist and bigoted views as an excuse for not wanting your family to use your home. And if you agree with his views, you're the out for that. Your aunt sucks for just expecting you to be okay with having a wedding reception at your house without asking. Your mom sucks for thinking she can just uninvite you to a gathering in your own home. At this point, your whole family needs help. Ugh. You're not the asshole since it's your house at all. But you're a nine life. ESH. It's your property, not your family's. You're entitled to use it any way you please, and your family are not entitled to expect access. However, it's clear your grandpa was a sexist asshole, and the only reason he gave the property to you is because you a. have a penis and two. are also a sexist asshole. So, congrats. You're not the asshole for asserting your right to your possessions, but you are, in fact, a giant, creepy asshole. For this very specific occasion, since she cheated on her ex-husband, you are not the asshole for not supporting her second marriage, especially since she didn't even consult you about it. With that being said, I sense an underlying tone of sexism from your grandpa, and you seem to be preaching from the same choir. Watch out! Not the asshole. You own a property. People who want to use it should at least have the decency to ask your permission rather than assuming. I don't agree with your morality policing stance, but your property, your rules. ESH. They should never assume they could use the property without talking to you first. 
All the moral bullshit is just total creep vibe. Not the asshole because they didn't ask or let you know about the wedding. White EA for trying to hide behind your grandfather. You don't like your cousin and don't want to help her. Don't hide behind what he would have wanted. Info if it's about your grandfather's year, why is it okay if she pays? Should be not okay regardless of money. Not the asshole, it's your property. Simple. ESH only because your family was rude to assume they could you use property without asking. You can try to spin it however you'd like, but you inherited this property because you're male. That's it. You managed to acknowledge that your grandfather had old-fashioned views, but then decide to continue on the tradition of misogyny rather than continue the tradition of using the property for family weddings. For that, you're a major ah. I mean it's your house so you can do what you want with it, but choosing to honor your grandfather's misogyny and sexism is kind of an asshole move but then again, you yourself kind of seem like a misogynist. I know I'll be downvoted for this, but who cares not the asshole? Because the house is yours and if you don't feel comfortable with someone using there, you have no obligation having them there. Not the asshole. Your property. Period. ESH. You, your cousin, aunt and grandpa are total awe but your grandpa is the greatest awe because he taught you his disgusting beliefs that women are lesser than men and women must remain in an unhappy relationship. Dude you are just 27 years but you have the mentality of an uneducated and deranged old man. ESH you are way too judgmental and they are not entitled to use your property. I was leaning towards a whitey judgment until you got to the point where your cousin cheated. You have every right to be disapproving for that reason alone. Your aunt is extremely entitled to just expect that your property would be used for your cousin's wedding. In this situation, not the asshole, but overall your sexist views are distasteful and outdated. Not the asshole but grow a pair and admit it's you that don't want them there instead of using your grandpa as an excuse too. Never before has ESH verdict been more appropriate. Not the asshole. Your property, your rules. I don't get why people think they can intrude on someone else's property. Not the asshole because your aunt and cousin assumed access when, at the end of the day, it's not their property, or even something they should feel entitled to. It's a gift they were allowed. Also. I hate infidelity and personally I wouldn't be going to that wedding. What is there to celebrate? However, your grandfather sounds like a misogynist and you are taking after him. You also cited not agreeing with your cousin politically as a reason to say no. That's not a valid reason and you already had a few. So you're NTA in this situation, but you probably are one in real life. Not the asshole. Are you in offer your reasonings? Yes. But in this you are not the ah. Your property. No one gets to assume they have the right to use it without your permission and you have every right to grant or deny as it suits you. Not the asshole, I would have gone the other way but this cousin and aunt didn't talk to you about the use of the house. They just assumed they were entitled to use it. I'm curious as to why you're allowing the family to have Christmas there while you're exiled. This is your house now, not theirs. In fact, it was never theirs, it was your grandparents who bequeathed it to you alone. I don't care about the viewpoints or whatever but your cousin isn't a good person if she can cheat and her fiancé is just as bad as her. That is your house and land, no one can tell you what to do with it at all even if they're your elders, mom, aunt, family, etc. I find it funny your mom threatened to uninvite you to a party that's at your own house lol. With a statement like that, I honestly wouldn't have it there for principal cause um. That's my house df, smiley face, not the asshole. Not the asshole. Sad to see so many people seem to believe any wrongness regarding your, your grandfather's views on marriage should somehow trump your right to act in accordance with them so long as it doesn't interfere with the rights of others. And others don't have the right to get to use your stuff without your approval, regardless of the reasons for that disapproval. The fact of the matter is this is your property and nobody is entitled to their use of it without your consent. Certainly it is wrong for anyone to put any level of pressure on you to let them. ESH you're an offer being so judgmental about your family's relationships, they are offer acting entitled to your property and being presumptuous. How exactly did they plan to uninvite you from Christmas when it's held at your house? They clearly haven't accepted that the property is yours now, and while this is obviously one way to get that point drilled in, I think your approach is going to cause a lot of drama and resentment. Guess it's your call if you think it's worth it. Up, this is your house now, not the family house anymore. Holding the line on this wedding reception and Christmas is probably what it will take to make that very clear to everyone. Host your own party this holiday and enjoy your new place. Not the asshole. 
not the asshole it's your property. You don't even have to have a reason to say no, but you have several. Not the asshole. You set a boundary and offered a compromise need to be asked, want to be compensated for the inconvenience. People shouldn't be making assumptions just because they're related to you. Have some freaking manners, you all. ESH